guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here today with my parents and we're going to be tasting another MRE, but this one is a little different. This one is a breakfast MRE and I think it's our first time trying a breakfast one, yeah. right? It is, indeed. Okay, yes. which one do we have today, Dad? So today we have one of these train as you fight type meals. Okay, so it's maple flavored pork sausage patty. And I don't know what else is in there. <laughs> and because it seems to have been crossed out, which lets me think again, this is the budget plan. And we'll explore that some more when we explore this meal. All right, so what will we start with today? Well, um, we have uh, a limited amount of elements in here. First one we're looking at is our crackers. They curiously <laughs> have taken on the shape of somebody's back pocket. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. And then as an appetizer, it seems like there's a dessert element to it. There's chocolate peanut butter spread. So what comes to mind is Reese's or a peanut butter cup, but, but who knows? So let's see if I can open this and we can somehow maintain the cracker integrity of the cracker in the process. Maybe when they were still soft, they took on this shape and so there might be some hope that we don't end up with a bunch of clothes as our reward for our efforts. There does appear to be some structural damage to our country. But not so much that it's not gonna that it's gonna be just a, a pile of crumbs from Bobby. From white. It's we have to need the package. I need I needed it. <laughs> if you need the package. You're going to need the package. <laughs> so the package has been needed. And yeah. so let's see if we can tear it open. And once again, I'm challenged. I don't know if it's a Oh, look at that. I don't know if it's a product of <laughs> aging or dexterity or whatever. But here we go. We have Ooh, some chocolate good. peanut butter. So I'm going to put some out. Um, perhaps we need some sort of utensil to... It doesn't want to let go. It won't let me it just take part of it out. Okay, doctor. I'm getting the... <laughs> spork? <laughs> okay. So, so we have a spork. We're going to try to separate some elements oh. from others. So that... Um, we can share it on a plethora of crackers. Yeah, I've got to confess, this is not looking super appetizing yet. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to try to like evoke the image of s'mores right here. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. So I'm trying to make it more appetizing. <laughs> um, this looks like it would be fun just to like squeeze into your mouth. Yeah. Um, and the, the, the crackers, I don't. You could crumble them up and eat them. I mean, it's nourishment of sorts. Um, some of them, I guess, will leave here um, like open face, if you will, and some of them will have closed face. Uh, and, uh, and there'll be some for everybody. Perhaps you're on a low carb diet, you want to have the open face one. It's, it's just half the carbs that are associated with that. So, um, this speaks to my concern of, you know, again, maybe these are budget MREs for some reason. Maybe they were seconds. So, shall we? Oh, so many options. Do I want the open faced or do I want the full carb version? I'll go with an open face. I'll just watch my figure. <laughs> <laughs> I have to maintain my girlish figure, too. Because I don't want to make my sweetie look bad, but um, 
by not looking fit and shrimp. Mm -hmm. Like peanut butter to chocolate ratio? Yeah, 99 to 1. Right. <laughs> this is just peanut butter. Yeah, this is just chocolate not, this powder. Is brown peanut butter. Mm -hmm. um, and as long as you like peanut butter, you're okay. If you're expecting chocolate, your feelings are going to be hurt. You will be disappointed. <laughs> but hopefully, it's not, you're not so disappointed that you, you can't continue on the mission, Charlie Mike. <laughs> okay. okay, so when I can pry my jaws apart again. <laughs> what would you <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> mm. So what would you rate this out of 10? <laughs> Um, I mean, peanut butter is peanut butter, although this isn't really a flavorful peanut butter. So I would like put it down at a six. six. And then the crackers are like a zero. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's a first. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, okay. Maybe I'll just go with a plain zero for all of it. Wow. Oh. <laughs> That's harsh. That is so harsh. <laughs> okay, so and I... yet she married me. Yes. <laughs> You're not so, a zero. So, okay. <laughs> oh, I think I'm not a huge peanut butter fan. Um, and yeah, this one isn't too flavorful. Okay, my jaws are still stuck. Um, so I think maybe a three for the spread and a one for the crackers. <laughs> You never like to hurt anybody. You, know, like, you always want to give them something. And I yeah, like that about a little bit of compassion you have. Thanks. All right, so I think it's time for our drink. And which one do we have today? Well, I was looking forward to this because this is one I haven't tasted that I can call Tropical Fruit Punch. Mm. And <laughs> we're going to go ahead and and mix it in this cup so nothing's hidden from the view. <laughs> Easy tear pouch. See, but it does call for eight ounces of water. And I have eight ounces of water in the canteen right here. I have more than eight ounces. So you go ahead and it looks rich, but as you can see, it has Difficulty to solve. <laughs> well, let's take it up to its full eight ounces that's required. And somehow I feel that uh, that's not going to help much. Okay. <laughs> so, it does look rich and fruity. with the it tropical does. punch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tropical punch, tropic lightning. This wasn't an accident. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, so the, that sour thing is going on with it. That's the citric acid. I imagine it's part of the ingredients. Um, it is kind of sweet too, but again, something suggests that maybe artificial sweetener might be in there because we don't want to have um, service members have too much sugar I would give them. So this is affectionately referred to as the electric strawberry, although it's a taro leaf with a lightning bolt. <laughs> Can you give us I'm more thinking... details about that? Oh, so 
25th Infantry Division, as you can see, constituted in 1941, saw significant um, service in the Pacific Theater, Pacific Rim, uh, and uh, also participated in the, uh, the Korean War and in Vietnam. They still are located in Schofield Barracks, Hawaii. I served there from uh, 1995 to 1998 with the 5th Infantry, the 14th Infantry, and then at the uh, Air Assault School. And, um, and it was a great time. I got, I got to um, go to Australia, work with our Australian counterparts, go oh. to, uh, work with uh, Japanese Defense Force, work with Malaysians. Okay. It was uh, a, an interesting uh, tour of duty. So, Tropic Lightning. Okay, and what would you rate this one out of 10? Yeah, this is kind of like six, seven. I, I could drink this instead of water, you know, as a change of pace, but um, I wouldn't go like, oh boy, <laughs> tropical punch. Not going to happen. Okay. okay, what do you think, Mom? Um, I guess I'll be generous and give it an eight. Oh. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, I think eight. It's very drinkable. Like, it's not... <laughs> excellent <laughs> but compared to like the other drinks that we've had great we've had lemon lime um i prefer this one over a lot of the others so dad is going to be tasting another one for us today and which one will you be tasting we have a maple flavored sausage um, pork patty sausage you can see here <laughs> now i would like you to um to draw your attention to the two Sharpie lines that are on either side of that. And so this gives me some you know, idea as to my theory about what's going on with these MREs that are packed a little differently and they seem to have things missing. In this case, it's clearly the hash brown that's missing. There's the nutrition facts on the left. And then there's the description of the hash brown on the right and they've been omitted from this meal and that appears to be deliberate because someone had the presence of mind to go ahead and run a sharpie through that saying this doesn't apply to this meal right here but what we do have is the pork sausage patty it's supposed to be maple flavored now i was starting to have flashbacks to the 70s when they used to give light infantry something called a lurps ration long range reconnaissance patrol which were completely freeze dry there was nothing that had any moisture in it. You had to bring your own moisture. And what you would get is a package like this with a freeze-dried sausage patty. So it was like essentially a half-inch thick sausage cracker. And if you added water to it and waited about 45 minutes, it would have the consistency of a ground beef or a sausage or something like that. But this one is nice and warm because it came from the heater. and. It's pliable, so it, it seems moist. So I'm optimistic to see what we'll find in here because again, this is something new for me. Now, once again, I'm challenged by the packaging. And so I'm gonna use my knife and cause some fear <laughs> and caution on the part of the family member. So, so here it is, it's juicy. Um, and everybody knows that it's the fat in meat that makes it flavorful. Flavorful, if you overcook it, then it's more like leather. And so, so it does have the physical appearance of a patty. Thank you, dear. You're so much better at that than I am. And I can smell it too. And um, I think that uh, what I'm gonna do is use a utensil on it. I probably could get away with using this. Okay, so it is tender. It's kind of like a ground in form. Uh, it looks like at some point that somebody put a sear on it because there's some like brown parts that are associated with it. What did the package say? Maple. <laughs> <laughs> and maple it is. So you're picking up like a strong maple flavor? <laughs> oh, okay. But as you can see, I'm continuing to cut and eat. So this is reminding me, it looks like a McRib. It does. It looks very much 
like uh, a McRib, which by the way, they say are coming back. Oh, <laughs> so would you say that the texture, just to give people an idea, would you say the texture is similar to a McRib? I would say that this is a little more tender okay. than a McRib, mm. which still it satisfies the meat texture. So they've, they've acquitted themselves well. Um, as I recall, for a period of nearly 30 years when I was in the military from the 70s to 2003, in the dining facilities, they would give us this thing that they called steak. Um, <laughs> did you see the expression on my face when I said steak? Um, and it was composed of like formed meat and it was really tough. And um, so our thinking was like, well, if you want to call it steak, okay, but, but it wasn't really steak. Now, I do want to mention that when I was with the 101st, when we were going to do an air assault, which is a, an attack with helicopters, they would always have the cook crew from the DFAC come out to the landing zone where the helicopters were going to pick us up. Mm -hmm. And they would barbecue real steaks for us before every single oh, air wow. assault. <laughs> and some of the, the, the um, conventional wisdom was that this is going to be your last meal ever, and so let's make it a good one for them. And so they barbecued the steak, but that was tradition. That's what we did when I was in the, the five uh, Odus infantry. But but this is good. I'm going to say ten. And I'm the only one here voting today. Um, but ten dominates today. We're wrapping up with our coffee and dessert. Okay, so we've got our trusty canteen cup, and Bill's Brew is in this minuscule accessory pack. This is always a favorite activity. I can just turn it around the right way. It always provokes a reaction. Ooh. And uh, again, Bill's Brew. We've got our Enjoy Sugar, Splenda, who wants Splenda? No. <laughs> Nobody wants Splenda, it tastes nasty. We've got our Creamer, and when we get done, our Moist Toilet. So let's, without further ado, dig into our freeze-dried coffee. Tear the packet and not open it. <laughs> and then do it twice and not actually open it. Third time's the charm. Yes. Bill's Brew. Ah, I like the sound of it hitting the bottom of that steel cup. I'm going to enjoy this sugar. Oh, first time. Yeah. <laughs> The one thing that's important with with the institution of marriage is having the support of your spouse in all your activities, and and I do have that. Um, and I'm not even going to let her have an opportunity to to suggest that there is something in my packet tearing abilities you know, here. So. Getting all the contents of something to dissolve has been a continuing problem. We do have our MR food, and I think that what we're going to do is, and we got it open. Is we're Good gonna, job. Thank Good you. Job. Positive reinforcement. I thrive in positive reinforcement. Oh, I'm positive reinforcement. I'm going to put a little in, try to stir it up so it dissolves. Put a little more in. Stir it up so it dissolves. Am I the lone coffee drinker today? Yeah, I think I'll pass on the coffee today. I had a little too much earlier, so. Okay. <laughs> Never can get enough caffeine, right? <laughs> so, I think that we've actually got everything dissolved. I've got about a half a canteen cup of coffee right here. And again, I'm going back to my brothers and sisters. 
Tropic Lightning, 25th Infantry Division. And I think I know what I'm going to get with this. And I wasn't disappointed. Oh. Okay. Bill's Brew, this is a great improvement. Thank you so much. And we still have a dessert that we'll try as well. Okay, we'll get to do this as a family, I think, because there's yes. no caffeine. <laughs> so, so what we have is an oatmeal cookie. And yep, this, this. this looks like a familiar friend. Yep. And once again, they packed it well. <laughs> Uh, the cookie didn't quite survive the journey. I don't know if I'm responsible for it, but I'll take responsibility for it. That's Intact. the way the cookie crumbles, guys. Ooh, good <laughs> one. <laughs> and, uh, and so there appears to be plenty of cooking for everyone. Um, and we've been here before. Yes. No surprise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do the rating slightly differently. How would you rate, you love to dip this cookie in your coffee, but you haven't rated it dipped in coffee. <laughs> That's true, I haven't. So, and I, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and dip it in there now. I'll say that the cookie was a nine before the dip, pre-dipped cookie. <laughs> Just a brief dip, kind of like softened it up and then the unique um, interplay of flavors from the, the coffee and the oatmeal cookie brings this up to a 10. Oh, nice. Yeah, and mom, um, well, Guess I can give the cookie an eight. Okay, and yeah, since I didn't get to soften it with a dip, this one will be a nine from me. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we have for today. Thank you for watching, and also this is a friendly reminder to thank the veteran in your life for their service. Thank you, Dad, for your service. Thank you. <laughs> Tropical lightning. <laughs>